My name is Mike from Mad Gaming, and welcome to Stories Untold, a collection of four little horror games partly made by the team behind Alien Isolation. So already we have some awesome horror pedigree there. Now I've already played a 48 hour version of The House Abandon, which is the first of the stories, but these are all linked together. All four of these are linked together. Now, uh, this has been out for a few weeks now. I wanted to play it, but obviously we're moving house, so I didn't get the chance to play it. So we're going to jump straight into the House Abandoned. This is the fully... Now, this is the full version of the House Abandoned, not the 48-hour version, but this has been developed further. So I'm interested to see, because I really enjoyed the 48-hour uh, version. It was a really awesome kind of text horror game. Really creepy. Really good. Really good. And I really want to see how they all link in together. Really excited for this. It's got a very kind of like 80s technology vibe to it as well, which I kind of appreciate being born in the 80s. But yeah, so if you have seen The House Abandoned already, I will be having to replay through that. Um, I imagine it'll be slightly different. But also, there it, there was a photosensitive epilepsy warning at the beginning of the game, so if you are sensitive to anything like that, please switch off now. It's not worth it. But yeah, there we go, The House Abandoned, an interactive horror adventure. Now, the uh, premise is you're playing a an old text-based horror game. As you can see, I'm actually in a room now. I can't interact with anything so far. But uh, you pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all the long time ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before going in. It's good to be back. So what I want to do is look in glove box. The glove box is closed but appears to be unlocked. Unlocked. Sorry. Open glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Read note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, I hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around the back to get power and lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Okay, yeah, so we've done this. Uh, so we want to... I've collected the key, so we want to exit car. We open the car door and step out. The house is grand, set perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Um, proceed to yard. Sorry, I don't understand. Okay, go to yard. You take a walk around to the yard. The yard has been well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family on holiday trips. Good memories. Look around. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Um, use generator. You switch the generator on and it works to life. The house is still dark. Okay. Go to house. You walk back around to the front of the house. Okay, so... Uh, so in front of you is the front door. Uh, unlock front door. We insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Okay. Enter house. You step inside the front door. You enter the house to the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. You use a light switch. You flick the switch and the lights come on. The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and the living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Now, the note said it was upstairs, so go upstairs. And I just noticed as well that the time on the little kind of thing, I'm not sure what that is, like a clock radio, is actually the correct time that I'm recording this. It's actually five past ten, so... That's kind of creepy. The stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms. Yours and your sister's. Pictures are on the walls. Um, go to my bedroom. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. And it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift-wrapped box. 
Look at box. And this is kind of what this game is about. It's a text adventure, but it will just wait and see. A large gift wrap present. The tag says your name. Open present. Yes, please. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer, a Futuro 128K plus 2. It has been preserved well in the attic and it hopefully still works. Your old bedroom. Okay. On your desk is a Futuro 128K plus 2 computer and a copy of the house abandoned. It's still to be set up. Set up a computer. You start to plug in various cables and leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There's a game here too. Mm. Play game. You put the cassette in the computer and press play. And that happens. Okay, this is still very similar. Oh. Shit, I do remember bits of this. This is so creepy. So get out because obviously this is the bedroom and this is the, the computer that's in the text adventure you pull up to the driveway of the family holiday and home and park the car it's dark and it's clearly neglected you remember being told to check the glove box before going in you can't stand to be near this place this is where things start to go wrong check uh, we want to open the glove box Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Read note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out the car. Get out the car, get out the car, get out the car. G. Okay, so get... Get out the car. You force the warped car door open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Go to yard. We have to turn the generator on. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown and weeds crawl up the side of the house. It's not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Use generator. There isn't much... You see the light just came on. Oh, and then the pictures. Look at the pictures. They've got like black across their eyes now. Oh, it's been a while since I've played this game. I'm getting chills. Oh, this is so creepy. Uh, there isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Okay, go back to house. You go back to the front of the house. Um, the house looks abandoned. There is a... Yeah, yeah okay. So we want to... Wait. Unlock door. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Oh, okay. Go inside. You reluctantly step inside the front door. Pitch black, but your senses are punished more by the smell, stale air, and damp. This could not be less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it. Okay, read note. It's too dark to read, but it feels weird to touch. Um, use light switch. I'm just remembering. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after years of neglect or worse. There are stains and trails all over the carpet. <laughs> Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock blaring. Someone else is in this house. This can't be. Uh, switch off alarm. <sighs> Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set in. You're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and living room adjacent to stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Read note. I can't read the note. It's bleeding. <sighs> Fuck it. Just go upstairs. You head up the stairs, they creak. Oh, <laughs> no! Oh, oh, that's bad. Oh, <coughs> fuck me. Uh, answer phone. 
You hear him answer the phone, your mind hurts and you taste the iron. Oh, this is giving me goosebumps. I've played this one before. Oh, it's horrible. Okay, voices spill out the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do whoever you consider the worst. Hang up phone. Ah, oh, relief. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister, sister's room, your room and the bathroom. Pictures are all over the wall, but something is different about them. Look at pictures. The pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. Go to my room. The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. Okay. Nine, 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 nine. I'm oh, sorry, I don't understand. Use lock. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and now input the code. Is it 9999? You need a working four digit code. You know it's in this house somewhere. Okay. Because I was thinking that I had the code. And I thought it was on there. Okay, read note. The note is reacting. Get in the door, get in the room, get in, do it, go. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The keys in your hand weighs heavy. Use key. I don't know what you're trying to use. Go to sister's room. And then why don't you put the code in? I'm gonna go to sister's room. Okay, I'm going to try and put another code code in. Uh, let's try. Is there anything? You can zoom in, but I don't click on anything. I can't remember this bit. What I think it's a one. Let's try one twenty-two. You're working four-digit code. Okay, go back. You let go of the lock. Okay. Is Do you see what I mean? How a text adventure can be creepy. It's so good. Go to sister's room. Jennifer's room is boarded up. You can't bear this. Go to bathroom. You know, can you? The sound design is fantastic. You can actually hear them. You can actually hear. That's me outside, but I'm controlling me in here. Ugh. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Leave bathroom. Okay, let's try looking around. Look around. Broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. Nothing then. Leave room. Okay. <sighs> okay. Okay, go downstairs. You go back downstairs. The noise is gone, you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and the living room adjacent. Okay. Go to kitchen. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal, and there is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall. And the utility room door has a red X painted on it. Look at corpse. Look at carcass. You look closer, but can't tell what it is or what it was. Okay, go to utility room. The door is locked. I can't get in there. Not yet. Okay. Look at writing. Oh, fuck me! In blood, the number 1986 is smeared across the wall. Okay, go back. That's the code. You step back to the hallway. Your shoes are wet. Look, it's actually on the wall. There it is, 1986. Fuck it, I didn't notice that before. Go upstairs. 
You head upstairs to where the noise came from. The stairs creak. <sighs> okay. I don't know why this is scary, but it seriously is giving me goosebumps. It really is. Okay, go to my room. Door is closed. Use lock. Okay, I need to put 1986. 1986. The lock clicks open. Okay. Open door. Open the bedroom door. Go into room. I'm not sure which room you would like to go to. Go to my bedroom. You enter the bedroom. Oh, that sound! The bedroom feels utterly familiar. The walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of a computer screen. The lamp is on. The clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tightly. Read note. I'm sorry, Jennifer. I'm sorry, Mum. I'm sorry, Dad. You haunt every step I take, even in this place. It was out of my hands, but still you punish me. I can be with you now. There is nothing left to do. I'm consumed and confused. This has to end now. Uh, okay, what do we do? Talk to person. You struggle out a hello. Everything you say, I say. Everything you are, I am. A feeling of hopelessness. You grip on the note. Tightens further. Read the note again. The note is reacting. Get in the door, get in the room, get in, do it, go. Oh, I can hear breathing in my, my right ear. Okay, I think I know what it's trying to... You are pathetic. It was all your fault. Say it. It was my fault. Oh, please stop. Please stop. It was all my fault. Say it. It was all my fault. Finally. Oh, that's so creepy. Oh, that's ridiculously creepy. Mm, not a big fan of that. But I am. That was really, really, really good. Really well done. And that's just the first game. There are now three more. I'm probably going to play the next one. Give that one a go, which is The Lab Conduct. I actually wonder how they all connect together. Hmm. Sometimes you need to look beyond the screen to progress. Fair enough. As I said, I have played the house abandoned before. But still, it's really, really good. And I'm really looking forward to seeing these other three. I like how the uh, title sequence has kind of a Stranger Things kind of vibe going about it. I quite like that. Okay. This is subject 12198623, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. We have artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from crash site B. At the moment, it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Asian, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. One last thing. 
Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. When you're ready, let's bring this back. Okie dokie then. So here I am. I'm working for the US government apparently. Let's see. Experiment manual help. Okay, how do I how do I do this? Can I click it? Oh god, I don't know what don't know what to do. Okay. M for manual. Oh, I see. Okay. H for help. Press the keys bracketed in the top menu to move between pages. Press tab to roll over to the chest chamber. The chamber, use your mouse cursor to select and interact. Okay. Oh, I can move about in this one. Okay, there's... So I'm assuming the artifact is in there. Okay. So I've got a few kind of different things I have to use. Can I open that and just have a look at it? Die immediately? Okay, so experiment. Experiment 1, internal analysis. Subject J1986, 1986. It's the same number. MEM is enclosed in our solid outer layers. X-ray the artifact to determine its internal structure. Okay, so we need to use the X-ray. So number 1. Uh, required apparatus, camera monitor, set to x-ray, charge CC86 x-ray device. Okay. So I need the camera. Camera's on. The monitor. Set to x-ray. Yeah. And something else. Uh, camera monitor, charge CC86 x-ray device. Uh, CC86 x-ray device. Okay. I think I'm good. Sync master's coming on. The green light's flashing. Okay. Good work. The x-ray is coming through now. I did it! There's no visible damage to the surrounding organic material. And no signs of activity either. All output is flatlined. Okay, let's begin. Yeah, experiment problem complete. Press enter to receive next experiment task. Experiment 2, surface reaction attempt. Demonstrate the effects of laser light on the object. Try using a low powered red laser to begin with. Okay, so uh, concentrated laser. Required apparatus, uh, LZR2 light generator and a monitor set to RGB. Okay, so I need to turn off that. Uh, monitor needs to be set to RGB. That's a infrared R three. Okay, I don't need that. Oh, this is the LZR thing, so I need to turn. So that's off. That's off. Uh, what's the L? Well, how do I set up the LZR thing again? This is really confusing. LZR light generator set wavelength. Red, 650 nm. Okay. Six hundred and fifty. Okay. Okay. So how do I sort digital? Opera. The one needs to be on RGB, but I don't know how. Oh, okay, so I needed to have the camera on. It's a heart. from first stage. Let's try a high frequency. Okay, so that's that experiment complete. 
That's a, it's a, it looks like a human heart. Uh, experiment 2B, surface reaction attempt. Demonstrate effects of laser light on object. Increase the laser energy. Use green laser. Okay, green laser. Uh, it's 510 Nm. Okay, so I need to... 510 Nm. Cool, okay. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Let's keep going. Increase again. Okay. Enter to receive, uh, let's see. Uh, blue laser, okay. Blue laser is 455MN. Okay, so let's cancel that and 455. Seriously, it looks like a heart. I don't know how that's an alien artifact. It looks like. It is a heart. Well, would you look at that? It seems we have a pulse. Rhythm is stable. There's no activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. Let's push further. Maybe not. Maybe we should just leave it. Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe we should just leave it. Okay, experiment three, resonant frequency. Test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. Begin with generating a 250 hertz sine wave with amplify gains it to one. Okay. Required apparatus, signal generator, amplifier. Okay, sine is the S. Okay. So, okay, we don't, do we not need the camera or the monitor? Or that we need that and we need to set to sign which is that oh and that's the okay uh, buh, 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 buh. amplifier set gain what, what gain 250 gain set to 1 250 Hertz okay yeah we could do that Set to one. There we go, and that needs to be two hundred fifty. Very specific amount. They obviously have very specific needs. Oh, there we go. Okay, uh, oh, I need, I still need to keep the monitor on, okay, so the monitor and the camera seem to be required for everything, but 250 hertz and that's set to one, so we're all good. I have some really, really bad feeling about this. It's not much of a response. Uh, updating the experiment now. Not much of a response, there was no response from that. Uh, 500 hertz and amplifier gain of high of five. Okay, so we need to set that to five and set that to 500 hertz. There we go. Oh, oh, it's vibrating. Seeing some fluctuations in activity. Should we increase to the risk of damage? What about a uh, long clear? Okay, we're going to push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Ah, that doesn't sound, that sounds like I'm expendable. Uh, so it's a square wave maintaining current frequency and gain of five. Okay, so what's square? Uh, is that one okay? I have a bad feeling about this. Something is going to happen. It's like we're torturing yeah, whatever. It's it's a, uncomfortable or dangerous. Or both. But you need to trust us and keep going. I don't trust you though. 
really don't. You're too smooth. Your, your voice is too smooth. Okay, maintain five square. Bring the wave for one k. Holy crap! Okay, so we're like doubling. We're doubling the hurts. Okay, nearly there, nearly there. Oh, too far. I'm always one over. Well, the electricity is going funny. The heart just bloody blew up. Full activity registering. We did it. What, you blew the heart up? Yes. You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. I blew the heart up. I need you to stay calm and try to relax as we go through these next steps. We're going to attempt to alleviate some of this discomfort. What the hell? The protective casing is off. Proceed to drill the surface. The There's something in the heart. Switch drill on. Ensure all other equipment except the camera and TV are switched off. Okay. That, that really sounds like a bad thing. You guys are crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I don't want to let it out, but I'm going to do it. Uh, oh, there is something in there. I thought that was a... How do you feel? Don't be scared. We have the situation under control. No, you don't. Take a few moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. It's like they kind of know what they're doing. Uh, make contact with the artifact. Open the test chamber. How about no? How about I go home? <sighs> Fucking hell. Safety instructions. Follow instructions exactly. Ah. Oh. Okay. Hi. Hi. My name's Mike. How's it going? Are you a turret from Portal? Stay calm. You're doing fine. Don't be afraid. I blew it up. I blew it. Have to know what? Uh, really? Remember what? The hell? Do you want to stop flashing in my face now, please? <laughs> Fucking hell. I was expecting it, but it still made me jump. Oh. What the hell did it do? What? It's like a conscious black box. It can show you its memories. Look into it. The visions will translate onto the screen to be something that you can understand. That you can play out. They already know what this thing is. Why a new data connection ready? Okay. You wake up in the cryopod, struggling against gravity to force yourself up. Impact into the planet's surface has torn a hole in the ship hull. Who is this app? You can navigate its memories. Use the computer. Work your way through. It's torn a hole into the ship hull. Poison out so it spills into your craft. You're in grave danger. You have to get out of here. Uh, look around. Craft is broken beyond repair. There is wreckage all around. The airlock is locked tight. The computer terminal adjacent blinks. Use computer. You tap at the screen and the airlock splutters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. Ships, ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of its reserves. Open 
airlock. This organ was taken from what we think was the leader. These memories are different, and not like the others. There's more detail here. Less hazy. Lean in. See what else is high. Okay. Just squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. You look around and see you are surrounded by mangled metal. Brown eyes pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. Crash site. Smoke billows from the down ship. Exterior lights flickering on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. You look upward to see unfamiliar star patterns. Move forward. Variation available. Use object not recognized. Help! Oh, no, I recognize a crash site. Smoke billows from the. Look at stars. Don't recognize any of the star patterns above you. Do I have to look at this again? Oh, that does nothing. Okay. Um. Call for help. Unavailable. Look at wreckage. Wreckage surrounds you. Some of this metal will have to be moved or to freeze off. Move metal. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for your for you to carefully crawl through. The lights that surround you now attack your senses. Look around. Circle of artificial light surrounds you, set up to illuminate the crash site in the darkness behind them. An army of people, all staring. One figure steps out, a silhouette, and walks towards you. Hello! Talk to figure. Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. For what it's worth, very few of our test subjects ever make it this far. Oh great, that's, that's lovely to Right. Yay! Yay! I feel amazing. Uh, okay. We awake. The room is silent, only for quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine beep. Your touch isn't yours. We are all as one, we move together in unison. We are in bed, in a small artificially lit room with a single door, with a sort of writing pinned to the wall. Adjacent is a display monitor with wires that drape across the room and into our chest. They have tortured us. We didn't put this entity in quarantine, it expired at the crash. I don't know. Stand up. Okay. Uh, move to door. Reaction unavailable. Remove wires. We all scream in pain. I am now connected to whatever alien is in that room. Okay. 
I'm in bed and small, officially lit room with a single door. There is some sort of writing. Uh, Jason is displaying one of wires draped across the room. Now dangling loose, they have torched us. Okay, look at monitor. The screen was blank other than the red symbol flashing in the center, registering the wires being disconnected. Read writing. Symbols seem to indicate where on our body they had to cut. We've been butchered and maimed over and over. Open door. Well, I can't do that, I'm afraid. I have to continue. I'm now... Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us and the lock clamps shut. We are alone together. Pick up. Device. It's some sort of preparation room. There are markings on more sheets. The door and a window on one side. The door we came through has been locked shut. The other door has an orange alarm light above it. In the centre of the room, a table holding only a small device. Taken from your, it's my, our ship. Take device. Look at device. It was an access code terminal for a wide connection. Allow commanders to commandeer other hosts. Only you, I, we have access to these codes. It's time to use them. Use codes. What is that? We haven't seen that before. What is it doing? It's using the tool we recovered from the crash site. It's in our systems. It's sending something across the network. Oh. It's broadcasting. <sighs> Mr. H, please. We deeply regret what we have put you through, but please understand it was for the greater good. We had to the greater more. good. Rebelling now could be catastrophic. You don't know what this might do to you in the long run. Kind of looking at the symbols on this side, just trying to kind of guess what they are. Oh, oh! I think I've done it. I, I think I've done it. Yeah, that was the code. What have I done? Oh, it's all of the orbs. I think I did. I think I did bad. Oh, I'm still in control. Click on it. Hey, old friend. I'm not quite sure what the hell just happened. I think I just may have unleashed an alien invasion of Earth. Maybe, just maybe. Maybe, just maybe. Okay. That was still kind of creepy, and I... I really, I really want to know how they all connect. Oh, I'm excited to play more. Okay, so the station process is the next game in the series but i'm going to save that for another video let me know what you thought of this game in the comments below thank you everybody so much for watching and i'll see you again soon